Hello and welcome along. Today uh, we are back here for, uh, well, welcome to Cornbrook Contracting. We're back here uh, in Cornbrook. Uh, we're heading back to the field that we, uh, we've we been harvesting and working on for the last uh, few days. Uh, I am driving the uh, T7 that we're trying out, uh, which is a lovely tractor working really, really well. Uh, with uh, Dave's behind me, he's in the fast truck, and uh, and yeah, we're heading up here. I think that Tom is uh, finishing off the field up here at the moment, so we're gonna we're gonna head in here, and I'm gonna start piling up bales. Uh, I've got the bale spike on the front, and we'll see how well this T7 performs at this job. So uh, yeah, Dave should come in and uh, and get in a position where I can uh, load up and uh, and while he's doing that, I will get my first bale collected. There we go and down. Brilliant. So he's got our uh, our very nice bale trailer that has. Uh, it's got a nice big ridge in the middle, so we can't push the bales on really any further than they should go. Uh, and this is this T7 is working out very nicely at the moment. I'm liking it. There's a there's a nice bit of precision to it. So yeah, that's right up against the bit. There we go. And uh, we'll just go and check that bale. Oh wow, no, nope, I'm gonna be better than that. Because that is uh, is not on there very well at all, actually. Right, and... No, all right, you can see, whoop, you can see Tom is, uh, is going along with our class baler, bailing up. So you can he see his side of this uh, as well. Cool. Right, go get the next bale. Uh, this one here. So yeah, we're just going to get these collected up, and uh, and hopefully we'll get a nice, good stack of bales off here. Um, I don't know how many we'll do. Um, we will see how we go. I know uh, Tom is. Oh, getting on with them. This is uh, is uh, quite a a, a baler that goes. Oh, sorry, a tractor that's a little bit can be a little bit um, finicky, but uh, it's pretty good otherwise. Yeah, much nicer than my other one. There's one over that. We'll work our way into the field here. It does uh, it does jerk forward a little bit this tractor? I wonder if it's got a little bit of a um, a high clutch on it. it suddenly goes sort of goes from naught to lots very very quickly. Doesn't make it the easiest to uh, stack bales with, but uh, yeah, it's it's working reasonably well. I'm quite happy with it. Our fourth bale, four bales down in a good time. Really quite happy with it. Right, 
and in. There we go. Oh, we're quite high in this one. This may not go on very easily. Ah, actually, you know what? That has actually gone on quite easily. Yeah, oh, let's do good. All right, as we get higher, what we can do is uh, we'll strap those down. But at the moment, it's pretty stable on that trailer. Get this one. Uh, this one's an outlier here, so uh, we get this one, and uh, and then we can go and get this stuff. It's all in the corner. Uh, David's doing a great job there. He's uh, getting me very nicely lined up most of the time. Right. Uh, which is really good. Really helps me to get this uh, positioned right. I'm be careful here. We've got tons of space, but I really want to get on. Right, there we go. Yeah, having that bar in the middle of this trailer, really useful. It really keeps us going uh, quite well. And he's coming in, uh, so I'm going to go here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, there's something a little bit off about this clutch, but. Nothing, nothing horrible, and nothing that uh, that I would wouldn't expect from a tractor of this age. Wow, clipping bale. We must have uh, we were a little bit too high in that bale, I think. Oh, why can we not pick this bale up? I seem to be. I don't want to to snap the. I don't want to snap the bits in it. We're all good. Right. And we'll get this one on the trailer. It's a little bit finicky. I just want to pull back slightly. There we go. This one, uh, the beauty of this is that he's actually got in a really good place for me to get that. I need to I need to get further into the bells because otherwise I'm not gonna pick them up. That was a little bit odd. again I'm having trouble getting this bail it does not want to pick it up place for us to line up at the moment. There's a certain, there's a little bit of a, a lag between uh, putting your foot down on the accelerator in the tractor and uh, and the tractor going, uh, which is causing me all sorts of problems when I'm trying to do precision loading like this. But uh, not much I can do about that. 
I didn't realize we've got so many bales still down at this end of the field. I cleared the top half and not the bottom half. So we'll get that done. Head back towards the entrance. We're getting a nice group of them here. Nice stack going here. There we go. I've got one, I've got one there. Let's drive over what we previously have. Good to be getting these up as quickly as we can. Slightly skew on this one, so I'm gonna get it lined up better. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Definitely a little bit of issue there. There we go. Now yeah, we've moved a couple of those bales. I don't want to get them. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to push them back, but we'll have a good go. I want to go three high, so that is my plan. Yes, we will get three high on this. Get line back up. It's quite. A, it's it's uh, it's an interesting thing. This this is. Uh, this is really taxing my ability to stack. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Because it doesn't have. Well, the only way I can do this, I think, is to immediately slam my foot on the brakes the moment that I start moving forward. But you can see that second bale there has sort of come off. And. Uh, just gonna strap these two down. We can unstrap them when we come to work on it. But yeah, because that is all shifting. So I want to make sure that we are uh, we don't have an issue. Straps across. Uh, we will. Uh, we'll undo those straps before we uh, before we put the third height on. Uh, but uh, yeah. Get another one 
on top. Start getting our third height. It's uh, yeah. This is this is all about trying to. It's all about fine control and, and trying to to make the tractor do exactly what you want and uh, and and move slowly in and get in a good place. Uh, if you can get that to work, then you will um, you know you'll get it to to work well and it'll be a stable stack as well. But it does take, it is that whole thing, it does take a while to get it, to get it right. Ooh. Yeah, that will be nicely. have the height to go higher. Hello. Hey there. Whoops. What was I doing there? Hello. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. How's it coming with you? You've made it, uh, made some quick progress with this. Yeah, we're making we're making good progress on it. Uh, we have had uh, it's been interesting. I think the clutch is a bit high on this T7. Oh really? It it likes to it likes to jerk forward a bit and then doesn't quite stop when you think it uh, when you think it's going to. So ah. uh, oh, well, might, might something. Might need a bit of adjustment, though. but uh, but otherwise, mm. otherwise, nice machine. Nice. How do you find the loader on this? Because I've never really enjoyed using tractor loaders before. Uh, More of not, a telehandler, man. Not too bad. I uh, yeah, but well, as as you know, I was uh, <laughs> I was the other way around. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it, it's uh, uh. working working quite well. And uh, and yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna go three high, I think, on here, and then. Uh, send Dave off to, to go and see if they can get these unloaded. Lovely. Well, there's not... There's a quite a light patch of straw in the far corner, so there's not a lot of bales over there. So uh, I'm sure you can just get them stacked up in the field or something while Dave's away. Uh, and then we'll, I'm going to go and head off down to that other little kind of six, eight acre field just down the hill there, uh, the, the spring barley straw. I'll get that rattled out and then I'll be away home. Excellent. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll continue off here. I think I think for my uh, my vlog today, I'm going to get the trailer filled up and uh, and end at that point. So, uh, yeah, lovely stuff. All right then. Well, you crack on, enjoy it, and I shall see you. Um, well, when you're done, I'll be down in the field to the swinging, and I'll, um, I'll. It's not going to take me long to do that field at all, really. So I won't be here too much longer. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I will uh, catch you in a bit. Lovely stuff. See you back in the yard. Right, so let's get these, uh, well, let's see if we can get some more bales done. Uh, as I said, there aren't, that, there aren't that many left in the field. We should, or well, actually, no, there's actually a decent amount, but I think he said that they're, uh, they're a bit thin as you get deeper down, so uh, we'll just get them stacked up up this corner uh, eventually. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the rest of these um, stacked on. Right, what I need to do. So I'll do those because we don't want that um, being under that. At the same time, I'm going to be careful. I don't want to knock any existing bales off. And especially with this tractor's ever so slightly dodgy clutch. There we go. Perfect. Uh, right, I'm going to go and take this one. Sun is setting. We kind of want to get these uh, these collected before night falls. There you go. It's giving me the other side of the trailer. That's good. Oh yeah, definitely. We do. Push. We're gonna have to push this end bale back on. I think. That 
was a bit uh, dramatic. Right, there we go, and push that back on, maybe. Yeah, just a little bit. Look up. This does have a nice window for when you're doing high uh, work. Well, we're not, we're not doing that at the moment, of course. There we go. Oh, no. Quite have it down far enough. There we go, right. Put that down. And off, and then we can... Uh, those back nails, we can get those locks down. Perfect, it's not... It's not the most stable, but that will do. Done. So we two more on here, and then as I was uh, telling Tom, I will uh, I'll end this at that point. Nope. Can't really see as clearly as I'd hope. Yeah, see it. It's either I think actually I said it was a high clutch. I don't think it's a high clutch. I think it's a low clutch. You have to really kind of put your foot down before it starts moving, and then it just surges forwards. There we go. Again, a lot of that stuck on because that now has uh, three high on it, and we'll unlock this stack. Get the. Uh, Belts of that. Plenty to choose from here. We only need two more. So we'll take one from here. Alright. And. Perfect. That's the trouble, it just... Uh, definitely some weirdness going on here.
give me a good enough run at it. And in and up. Right. get it as close to the previous bear as possible. There we go. It's a little bit unstable that. So we'll get that strap down now. Lots of straps on here, so that's good. There we go. Alright. He's off. Uh I am gonna end it there, so as uh, yeah, as Dave heads off. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos from Cornbrook Contracting, please subscribe to Virtual Farmer and Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.